When you're about to route a fairly dense PCB, it's obvious that displaying all of the connections at the same time can be overwhelming. Altium Designer allows you to control the visibility of these connections, and if necessary, we can highlight and assign colors to certain nets. From the view menu is where we can control the visibility of the connections. For example, let's start by hiding one of the nets by clicking on that particular net in the PCB. We can also do the reverse and hide all of the connections, then only show the connections for components you care about at this point in time. This could be an easy and incremental approach to routing components. This command is not only available from the view menu, but also from the right click menu whether you want to target a specific net or component to hide or show particular nets or connections. If you're looking to route one component or one layer at a time, it would definitely be convenient to work in single layer mode, which is done using the Shift S shortcut keys. This will give you better visibility to which connections actually need to be made. Now jumping to the view configuration panel, we can also configure the display of nets that are only relevant for the active layer. If you ever want to highlight a specific connection, just hover the cursor over the object or connection while holding down the Shift key. By clicking on an object with the control key, we can switch to mask mode, which will highlight all primitives with this connection. If you add the shift key to the control key, we can also add additional nets for highlighting. The mask and dim settings can be changed to your liking from the view configuration panel as well. You can clear any masking or selections by hitting shift C. The PCB panel is also a great way to view and highlight nets across your design. Both net classes and individual nets are displayed here. Once a net class is selected, we'll see the nets that belong to that class. Using the Shift key, we can select several nets and use the context menu to control the visibility of their connections. There's almost always going to be a group of circuits on the board that belong to one bus or one interface, such as DDR nets. If needed, we can assign a color to a net or a group of nets from the PCB panel. Just select the desired color and the associated nets will change. The display override checkboxes in the PCB panel allow you to apply the assigned color not only to connections, but also to topology objects. In this case, to display the color, the special net color override option in the view configuration panel must be enabled. A special texture will be applied to the objects, showing you that these nets are assigned a specific color for a specific reason. Net colors can also be assigned at an earlier stage when working in the schematic. From the view menu, the net color and net color override options are applied similarly to what we've shown in the PCB. They can also be removed just as easily using the same menus. If we want the colors from the schematic to be applied to the PCB, we'd need to complete the design transfer through the ECO. It's worth noting that this will reset the net color that was set in the PCB, but only for those that had the net color override checkbox selected. After the update, the specified color will be applied to the corresponding nets. If you wish to only be able to set the net colors from the PCB, we can jump into the project options, and under the ECO generation tab, we can disable the detection of these changes from the schematic to the PCB.